Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Tolani and I'm Diary of a Kitchen Lover. If you are new on this channel, welcome. And if you are returning, hi besties. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this very sumptuous soup called Egusi Ijebu. You guys, I prefer this version of Egusi to any other version of Egusi. So let's get straight into preparing this one right now. Let's start by drying out the egusi seeds. What you need is to transfer the egusi seed into a dry pan and just keep moving it around until it turns brown in color. Now I'm going to put the full measurement in the description box so you don't miss out on anything, okay? So you're going to do this for like 5 to 10 minutes until you see that the egusi starts to change color just like this. I think my egusi is fine. I'm just going to set this aside and proceed to blend the mixture. In a blender, just transfer the egusi seed now. And we're going to add our pepper mixture. So for the pepper mixture, I'm going to be using more of tatashe, that's the bell peppers, local bell peppers, some chili, onions, and scotch bonnet. So you transfer this into the blender. We're going to be blending this very, very smooth, okay? I also personally love to blend my egusi mixture with some meat stock. So if you have some meat stock, please... <coughs> Do not hesitate to blend it with the egusi. But if you don't want to do this, you can always add it while cooking. Now add some water. One of the reasons why egusi ijebu is egusi ijebu is it has to be a bit watery. I'm adding some crayfish just for some extra flavor. So you need to add lots of water to it. Like I said, I'm going to put the full measurement in the description so you don't over, you know, water it or underwater it. So you blend this until it is completely smoothened right now. Another reason why I love Egusi Ijebu is that it is so easy and straightforward to prepare. I mean, all you just need to do is cook and cook. You don't need to fry anything or do anything. Once your prep is ready, just transfer into your cookware, rinse off the ones that are stuck on the blender plate and, you know, let's proceed to cook. So I'm just stirring this together so that I have all the liquid, you know, uniform. Up next, you want to go in with your hard protein. That's your chicken, turkey, beef, and any other type of hard protein. Make sure they are already pre-cooked before this process. Now, I'll be adding my crayfish powder. I love crayfish powder in my Gusi Jebu. I think I used three tablespoons for this. Yes, I was a bit generous with it. Now, I'll be adding some crayfish powder. If you have bottom pot or any other local spice, please use it at this point. Some people also add ogiri to theirs. I plan to, but by the time I I opened my ogiri my my ogiri container hmm. the odor was so bad that the already spots that was why i didn't use ogiri so you can also use ogiri at this point it just gives it a very very local taste and aroma so just mix this together and once you're done with this you proceed to add you know your palm oil One other thing I like about Egusi Ijebu is I do not need to fry it. All I need to do is just add my palm oil, add some water, and allow it to cook. Contrary to other types of Egusi, I don't think I've ever seen any Egusi Ijebu being fried before. Please correct me if I am mistaken. This is what I grew up to learning. And as, a, and as an Ijebu wife, you know, we also learned on the job. <laughs> Now, please add your fish, your calamari, your prawns, and any other type of, you know, protein you want to add at this point. Give it a good stir, a very, very good stir. And you're going to cover the pot and allow this to cook for like 10 to 15 minutes. Please make sure you check on it intervally. And remember to always cook on low heat because, you know, there's no point cooking on extremely high heat. If your food will not cook well and it will not be sweet. Let me tell you that for free now. <laughs> At this point, the Egusi Jebu is ready. The aroma in the kitchen is so pronounced. You can almost tell from the next few houses that are making Egusi Jebu. I particularly love the way it looks. I didn't have too much palm oil. But if you like palm oil and if you like to see palm oil on top of your stew, please add as much as you want. And stir it gently. And the best swallow to serve with this Egusi is Eba. Please tell me, am I lying or not? Is it, is it pounded yam or semu or Eba? I think it's Eba. 
eba because i literally grew up eating eba and egusi jebu and even my in-laws when they were whenever they cook egusi jebu it's always eba that they serve it with so i think eba has to be one of the best pairs with egusi jebu but please tell me do you like this recipe are you going to be trying this i mean it is so easy to whip up and you don't even need to stress all you need are your proteins your other ingredients and um just cook away you don't need to fry if you want to fry fine but the the process for preparing a gusi jebu has been made so straightforward that you don't even need to stress yourself at all now i'm opening the best pair for this that's the eba i mean you just have to eat your egusi ijebu with eba so please tell me will you try out this recipe is this something you like to um taste please let me know in the comment section and if you watch this video till this moment i want you to type egusi ijebu in the comment section please do not fail to do so type egusi ijebu in the comment section and thank you for watching please check the description box for more details and remember to shop from my amazon storefront and follow me on other social media platforms Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!